Hey, Homestead Prepper. Okay, guys, I got the uh, log splitter more or less uh, finished. It still needs a couple fine touches, but it is uh, splitting wood. I'm pretty happy with the way it's working. I uh, just got this temperate on here. I needed a heat shield. I still have another little bit of work to do right that. Um, one thing I did do is I redid this right here. If you look at the other videos, you'll see there's a plate here, and it's welded onto the plate. What I did is I did the same thing. If y'all watch the uh, splitting wedge, how it's welded above and below. I did the same thing over here, and I've got some uh, substantial welding and holding power on that top, bottom, middle. That thing's not coming out of there. I uh, still need to make like a breather cap for that, but um, it does work. Got it bolted on there, as you can see. I'm going to split this up here. I'm not going to bore you with, you know, an hour of uh, splitting wood. But um, I will split a little bit of this. And this is live oak. And this is the hardest wood I've ever tried to split. It's worse than hickory. Uh, I know there's stuff out there harder. But this uh, is pretty miserable to split with a, uh, a, a hand maul. So let's, uh, let's set this up. Now, if you look, I've got this on a little base here that I made. The log splitter is going to stay right here. How did I get it over here? Well, the modular construction was able to pull that off, pull that off, pull everything off, took that off, and I was able to uh, dolly the beam over here and get that up there and then just put everything back on there. So I do have a trailer, which I guess I'll show that to you, and I guess in the future I'll, uh, it'll be a lot easier to move this around on a trailer. So let me show that to you. Okay, this is a trailer I picked up off of Craigslist for $120. Um, I looked around at just getting an axle, and uh, the cheapest thing I found was like $120 just for the axle. Uh, this came with leaf springs. Um, it's a little rusty, but it could be cleaned up, and it came with the wheels, and it's got electric brakes. So I'm going to take one of these axles and make a, a trailer eventually for the log splitter. I'm happy with it where it is right now. And I like the uh, working height of it. Uh, the other axle will be for another project. So, but uh, there's deals to be found out there, guys.
Okay guys, y'all saw the uh, log splitter in action and uh, I don't know about your area, but um, around my part neck of the woods here, um, a wheelbarrow load of split oak goes from anywhere from about say $12.50 and more like you know $20 for a barrel of that. So uh, that took just a few minutes to split that up. I've got some other wood that stuff is kind of punky and rotten. I don't know, might be a couple good pieces in there, but that could be used for heat. It'll still burn, you know. Uh, this is probably going to be more for uh, cooking. Okay, some of you are probably understandably curious on what this thing costs to put together. Well, before I get into that, I want to say that, um, you know, I had looked at the new log splitters and they were expensive. And I looked at used log splitters and you know what guys if I can buy let's just say I can buy a new log splitter for fifteen hundred dollars uh, or I can buy a the same used log splitter you know that's five or ten years old for you know fourteen hundred dollars or fourteen fifty I'm you know I'm gonna opt for the new one you know it comes with a warranty and and all that um, these people want you know a lot of money for their used log splitters I, I saw a brave 24 ton it was 1992 which was 25 years old the guy wanted six hundred dollars for it and he raved about the engine so I went and looked at it and it had uh, well it had rotted hoses on it the hydraulic cylinder leaked the uh, tires on it had been uh, filled in with black caulk and it was missing the trailer hitch and you know it was gonna need you know you're gonna probably have to put you know another three four five hundred dollars in it you know or more and for that just you know just go buy a new one uh, so uh, I decided to build my own. Okay, so what uh, what did this cost? Okay, well, let's get down to the brass tacks here This uh, beam came from Tampa Bay steel. It was uh, $115 out the door this uh, three-quarter inch 12 by 12 steel I uh, had purchased that from another project. So that was already paid for I didn't have to buy that another piece of three-quarter inch steel I had on hand some half inch steel. I had all that, the steel pen, the rod, that piece of pipe, that was uh, already paid for. This was $50 from the surplus center. By far the most expensive part of the whole splitter here was that 5 inch cylinder, 24 inch stroke from the surplus center, $327. It's a Fisher and uh, $30 for shipping. So if you're going to build a log splitter and you've already got a hydraulic cylinder, you are way ahead of the game. So uh, the filter, I don't know, I guess that was probably about $20. Uh, this, uh, I already had that on hand, but you know, if you had to buy one of those, you know, you're probably going to be spending $20, $30, $40 for something like that. And then, you know, the fittings, uh, I don't know what that costs, but you, you can figure that out. That, that costs a few dollars. Oh. The hydraulic hoses, making them myself, uh, was $120. Okay, this was a drop I got from Tampa Bay Steel. I don't remember what that cost. That, of course, I had a you know a bigger piece of it, and I cut it down. I want to say it was $15. This uh, steel pin right here is inch and a quarter, and it's four inches long. I had to buy one foot, and I I had to pay $15 for that. It's either that or go buy you know a 20 foot piece of it and use that much of it which would have been a lot more than $15 this is scrap and that's temporary this 2x2 two two, uh, square tubing I already had that on hand this uh, inch and three quarter steel tubing I had to buy a whole piece of that and that was $45 okay of course I got a bunch left over for other projects I already had this engine you can see that while I was building and I dropped it but it, it still works uh, 6.5 horsepower Predator 212. I guess if you had to buy one of these, you know, you can get them on sale for $99. This was homemade. This didn't cost me anything. The Lovejoy connector, I don't know. I want to say that was around $15 for that. That was from the surplus center. Miscellaneous bolts. You know, I used some surplus stuff here, you know, that was free. This is an MTE 16 gallon per minute pump and that was $150. Now they recommend at least 8 horsepower for that. This um, 6.5 horsepower engine is working really well. I was even able to split uh, some wood uh, putting it on there sideways. So uh, whatever all that adds up to, now that, that stand that's on there, uh, 
that's scrap that I had on hand. Of course, uh, there's miscellaneous bolts too. Oh, and these uh, grade eight bolts right here. I think those were about two dollars each, plus the the nuts. So it was you know twenty something dollars for that. So uh, I feel it was worth it to build my own, uh, mainly because I had a lot of stuff on hand. Uh, the hydraulic uh, oil. I had already had that on hand too. I had bought 55 gallons of that for my, uh, you know, have my other hydraulic stuff. Uh, so that was not an uh, out-of-pocket expense that had already been paid for as, you know, a bunch of this other stuff. If you had to build one of these from scrap and buy every little single item, uh, it, it, it could get really expensive. But the thing is, when you build it yourself, um, I think you can build it better than uh, some commercially available ones. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Okay, guys, um, if y'all have any questions, um, just uh, feel free, and I'll, I'll do my best I can to answer them for you. Okay, Homestead Prepper out.